First of all, good evening everyone right here in this auditorium. I am Ritabri Chakraborty and I'm so excited and glad to be here. And I'm going to share my journey so far with you all. Uh, so I'm 26. I fail as much as I succeed, just like all of you. I rise as much as I fall, just like all of you. But I have been working for 10 years now. And um, I have learned what my superpower is. And I'd just like to share that with you guys. So my superpower is I can cook. <laughs> yeah, I knew that will, that will be coming. No, not like cooking biryani and dal chawal. I cook opportunities. I cook opportunities for myself. So before I explain how I do that, I'd like to give a little background on how I started, who I am and where I come from. So when I was 15, I went to pick up my sister from an audition and the casting team thought that I am there for the audition too. They asked me to do a bunch of things, which I gladly did because it was a lot of fun. And uh, I got selected for the part, I got a call back. And my mother, when she got to know that, like all supportive Indian mother, she said no, she can't do it. She can only do it after her examination. She has her board examination coming. Nothing happens before that. Nobody in my family is an actor, to be honest. The casting team really liked me. They waited for me. And um, that's how Ogobodu Shundari happened. My first project and in a way, till date, my most successful project. Maybe that was one opportunity that I did not cook. Or maybe I did cook and I was not aware of it. I solely said yes because it was a lot of fun. It seemed like a lot of fun, meeting new people, facing the camera, and that fun character that I played. So it seemed like a lot of adventure, a lot of enjoyable process for a young girl. The success of it did change my life. It changed my life for good. Not only in the terms that people liked me as an actor and wanted to see more of me, but I liked acting too. I really enjoyed it and I, and I wanted to do so much more of it. Again, very supportive Indian family, so I had to finish my education. I had to go to college and concentrate on my education, but I couldn't wait to come back and get in front of the camera. So when my college got over and I was like, okay, here is my time, I'm to go and I can be in front of the camera, do whatever I want, then came the actual challenge. So there were two kinds of people out there who I met, maybe just my luck. One, very influential, strong men who kind of control the industry where I work in the uh, Bengali film industry, who told me a few things which does not go with my morals and norms of who I am. Basically, be a puppet to the patriarchal society. And uh, I was ready to do anything but that. The second lot was people who wanted to work with me, but um, they kind of were inhibited by similar kind of producers or some other more people. But I did get opportunities. I did get some good opportunities which seemed good at that point of time. But um, when I was on the shooting floor, shooting for these things, I did not enjoy them. I stood there feeling handicapped. It would always feel like, because I have grown up seeing a seeing lot of different kind of projects, Hindi films, English films, Spanish films, so on. Like, we grew up watching everything technically. And I would always feel like we could do it in a little different way. That would be more fun. This does not seem like fun, but again, I'm just an actor. All I have to do is stay on the floor, do my part and act. So I did not have a say. Those projects did not turn out well. I, I need not say that. And even if I name few of them, you will not be able to recognize them. But here comes my positive slope. In this process of being part of this unsuccessful projects that I did not enjoy, did not like, felt handicapped on the floor with, gave me some fantastic, beautiful people. In most of the shooting floors, I would meet somebody new. Sometimes a brilliant art director, sometimes a brilliant cinematographer. Sometimes in an ad, I would meet a great stylist and 
one by one, one by one, I kept on meeting great, amazing people. And I built my own team, my own crew, who I wanted to work with, who wanted to come to the floor, not for the sake of it, but wanted to enjoy what they do. Like-minded people. My mother had a production house since 98, from which she made films, because she makes films with very strong feminist stunts, which most of the people don't want to produce. I took the liberty to go under the umbrella of that with my team, my crew, and I started producing stuff. Anything that would make me wake up in the morning and go to the shooting floor. Sometimes ads, sometimes documentaries, basically no loss projects, which did not involve any risk. But we started enjoying so much, then came a point when I wanted to take a risk. In 2017, I produced a single called Oremon for Calcutta Cafe with the actor Ayushman Kuran. Have you guys seen it? Yeah. So if you guys have seen it and enjoyed it, you would know I have enjoyed making it as much as you have enjoyed watching it. I wrote the concept, I got the actor on board, I had my team, my brilliant team that I have kind of built over the years, and I had the most global platform, the internet and social media. The song became viral, we got more power, and we went on making more things. And I went on putting in all my ingredients to work with the people I want to work with, and the list goes on. From Anushka Sharma, Janura Kashyap, to Kalki, Rajat Kapoor, Fandan Kirki, Anupam Raj, the list is big of the people I have cooked up opportunities and worked with. Now, how do I cook these opportunities? Like any moment, first I look at what all I have. I'm going to give Naked as the example. Have you guys seen Naked? The short film I did with Kalki Kekla. So, um, I was cyber bullied like most women on the internet and uh, I felt very strongly about it that I want to do something. I want to make people talk about it. So I had a concept, I had an idea and this is how I started putting all the ingredients I had to cook up naked. I had a fellow writer from people I have known from this many years of working. We put up a script together and then we reached out to an actor who has a national voice which I did not have and I wanted a voice. When she speaks, the nation would like to know what these women are talking about. So I reached out to Kalki Kekla. She had similar bad experiences, which kind of gave us a common ground to make naked together. Then I put in my most strongest ingredient, that's my production, my crew, my team, and we made naked. We put it on the platform. You always need a place to put your dish, right? Thanks to internet and social media, you don't really have to think too much. There was YouTube, there was Facebook, and we just casually put it out there on Women's Day, hot. The only day which is kind of solely devised to talk about women empowerment, like one day we get. So we got that day right and put Naked out there. The whole idea was to make Naked a very engaging experience for all of us and also serve it in a way that it's, it's engaging to people to talk about the topic we want them to talk about. It was a very successful dish for the chef. It got a film fan nomination, it made me a lot of money, and it gave, gave more uh, acclamation to my production house, and I went ahead making more and more and more projects. So this, I'm talking about um, cooking up an opportunity in terms of a project, a film, a short film, a song. Now I'm going to give an example of how I use it when it's not related to my profession. I believe and want to stand up for a lot of causes being the citizen of this country. I feel I have the power that I am here able with a stable profession and I can stand up for causes I want to. There are thousands and millions of people out there who want the same. They just don't know how to do it. Whenever I would put a, a post of my NGO activity on the internet, there would be comments like this. Ma'am, how do we reach out and do something similar? How do we help you out in your journey of helping this underprivileged children and so on? So I realized I have this very important ingredient right in front of me. These children who need support and help. I mean, me, my mother, we are doing, doing our best, but that's never enough. 
there are thousands of them and then there are these people people of my nation who want to help them so i used my one of my biggest ingredients that's my following my social media facebook to reach out to people saying these children this 2700 children from these three schools we work for in west bengal they don't have shoes they come to school barefoot why don't we give them the shoes contribute anything you want so i put all these ingredients my social media these people the children who need the help together and got in the funds 10 bucks to 1 lakh to sponsors and so on and we gave them the shoes and the day i gave them the shoes i put up videos and pictures showing how happy the kids were to get the first pair of shoes and the people were equally happy who had contributed they felt delighted that they could actually contribute in some way and it was very 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 delightful for the chef of course who cooked this opportunity where the bridge comes the children get the shoes and the people who want to help can give the shoes these are two examples of how i cook opportunities and i have been doing it for some time now and i have done it many many times sometimes for my personal things that i wanted to do i have given an ambulance to the village i work for just like putting things together i have met my heart through brand adams i keep making money i keep doing production work i work with brilliant people sometimes as a writer sometimes as a producer sometimes just as an art director and sometimes just as an actor until now till date even being here on this platform the key word is to have fun to enjoy to have an opportunity that i'm extremely proud and happy to be that is something i have kept on doing and doing and doing and i will keep on doing that's my superpower and that makes my life so interesting so to all of you who are somewhat like my age group somewhere here or there don't call me didi please it's very <laughs> embarrassing but yeah to all of you i wish you all the best i wish that all of you become the master chefs of your life and you cook up, cook up the opportunities that you want that you deserve and at every instance when you feel that you don't know what my ingredients are okay fine she is somebody known who has an opportunity pick up where you want to start if it's something like you don't like the road next to your house which is which you find is very very dirty should be cleaned see what your ingredients are your ingredients might be four other people who think the road is stinky and needs to be cleaned what else do you have you have the knowledge you can reach out to the municipality or whoever to get it clean and if they don't do you have more power more ingredients that's your own strength pick up the broom clean it up you can always cook up your own opportunity it does not matter what you want you just have to look around so if you're in your 20s and if you're feeling lost like i do a lot of times just look around look at the ingredients and i so wish that when you walk out of the door of this college you guys are champions of cooking up your own opportunities that you guys be like what did the tabri chokrabarti do we are the master chef of the world thank you